Hello and welcome to Longship Gaming. Today we're playing Marvel Champions. It's going to be the newly arrived Jubilee up against Mysterio because that's the way that our alphabetical playthrough for 2024 has worked out. So she came with a whole bunch of new um, Justice cards because she was uh, built as a Justice deck from her pre-con. Uh, but of course, you know, I don't tend to play the pre-cons uh, unless I feel that they are particularly strong, and some in the past have been. In this case, though, I did not want to do that, and I decided that I would go on to the old Marvel Champions database and find uh, a recent, of course, they're all going to be recent by the point in time that I recorded this, um, deck for her. And one of the more fun-looking ones was a uh, Justice deck. In the description below, I will credit the author as usual and link to the deck itself. Uh, so we have, you know, some of our best-in-class sort of mutant tools with the Professor X here. Um, we've got uh, some new allies like Chamber and Husk, which are expensive, but because Jubilee has three double resource cards, hopefully it shall not be that difficult to, uh, to handle. We have Cypher, a card that I've never actually played. Um, after Cypher attacks and damages a confused enemy, draw one card. So that's okay. Um, we have a new card in Multi-Talented, which of course leverages off her ability to spend different kinds of resources every turn. Um, multitasking to deal with uh, excess um, threats on side schemes. Uh, and a host of other cards that are in here that, uh, that work very well in this new environment. New um, new justice environment with uh, Jubilee. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, it's the first time actually playing Jubilee, so we'll see how she does. And uh, we'll be right back after we get shuffled up with Jubilee versus Mysterio. Alright, so our starting six cards are Wolverine, Multi-Talented, Shopping Spree, which is not what we want to have uh, in our hand, Multitasking, X-Gene, and Blinding Flash. Okay, so sadly Wolverine is just way too expensive to play on turn one. We can't really play out this because we have no extra resource cards. We're going to keep shopping spree because we actually can get rid of it with multitasking. Unfortunately, we just don't get to play it for free. Uh, now I should point out shopping spree as a player side scheme is uh, one in which um, she can redo uh, every time. Uh, it's not, uh, it's, it has no victory. Um, point value, so we can just keep recurring that over and over again. So these two here are uh, essential. Uh, X-Gene, uh, we'll keep that uh, because we can uh, put that into play because she's a mutant, and Blinding Flash is too early for that as well. One, two, three. Okay, so Plasmoid Energy, which is one of our dual uh, aspect resource cards, another multitasking Jubilee's coat. Uh, that's pretty good. Okay. Well, we'll definitely be able to get rid of uh, multitask, or basically get rid of the threat and um, uh, complete shopping spree on this turn. Okay. So, first things first. We only need one multitasking, so we're going to play out the X gene. Then we're going to play out shopping spree. Only she can deal with this which is not very difficult. Um, let's 
Sadly, because X-Gene is not an identity-specific event, we probably won't be able to get Jubilee's coat out, which is unfortunate. So we'll see what happens when we flip over. We can exhaust to generate a wildcard resource, though, which is pretty good. So let's do this, then. Um... Yeah, we won't be able to get rid of the shifting apparition, unfortunately, but one damage is not that big of a deal. Well, I mean, it depends on what we get from our shopping spree, right? So we're going to use Plasmoid Energy to play for Jubilee's Coat. We're going to exhaust her to play pay for multitasking. So it's going to get that off of there and that off of here. Then we go looking for an item. Uh, what do we have? Um, we have a cell phone. I think she has her glasses in here somewhere. Uh, oh yes, she has her sunglasses. Yeah, then that's probably the only one. Either the cell phone or the sunglasses, so I think it's just going to be the sunglasses. Come out for free. So she has her whole outfit going already. That's all right. So now she has plus one attack and plus one thwart. All right, one, two, three, four, five. So firecracker, enhanced reflexes, multi-talented, float like a butterfly and mutant education. Okay. So one threat goes on. He's going to attack. He's attacking for two. We will... Hmm. I think we're going to defend. There's much else that we can do. Yeah, okay. So attack of two. So just two. Um, put one pursuit counter and pursue by the past. So we actually don't take any damage. Then we take one for the, from the apparition. And the encounter card. Dark designs. Um, and then he's going to scheme. So he schemes for two. Three, four. Okay. I don't quite like that. Okay. We can do damage. Let's see what we can do here. Kitty's come for a visit, but Kitty needs to go. Bye-bye. Okay. I think we need to multitask. So 
I don't think there's any other way to do this with the resources that we have. Okay, the good thing is we can leverage her items now. Okay. So, we want to thwart a lot. We want to get rid of... Hmm. Okay. We want to get rid of shifting operation without having to... After you play a tag event, exhaust the glasses and choose an enemy. Okay. As a response, not an interrupt. So, unfortunately, move two threat. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do multi-talented. So we're going to move to threat from the scheme. And as a response to that, we will remove two extra because we played two different resources. Okay, we didn't do any damage to it ultimately because we didn't... Yeah, I think that's fine. So we're going to heal ourselves. I think all we can really do this turn is flip down. One, two, three, four, five. So plasmoid, mean education, enhanced physique, disguise, okay. Flash of light, okay, and mutant education. Okay. Interesting. So Next turn, threat goes on, <coughs> excuse me, he's going to scheme, two, three, and then one more, for the apparition. Okay. Encounter card. Drawing nearer. Okay. After your turn begins, discard the top card of your deck. Place one pursuit counter on pursuit of the pass for each printed resource icon on that card. That could be dangerous for us. As an alter ego action, discard any specific card from your hand. Discard this card. Okay. Well, hopefully we don't draw into a two resource. Okay. One resource. Okay. So, I oh, really wanted to be able to flash a light here, but I guess we won't. I don't want that thing sticking around. So that's got to go. Okay, disguise as an upgrade. Let's 
it's not going to do much good for us. It still feels like it's just going to be Alright, so we need to be able to put out Enhanced Physique. <coughs> Pardon me. We'll flip over. Oh, wait, we won't flip over yet because we will mute in education. We're going to put plasmoid and plasmoid. Oh, actually, plasmoid and shopping spree. Back into our deck. Guys, which to be honest is kind of pointless. I mean, it's the same amount no matter what we do. Uh, and then we'll thwart for two. And I think that's it. I mean, we have a lot going on here, but that's about it. One, two, three, four, five, five. Multitasking, shopping spree. Oh, why we, okay, so forgot a step. So when we were, before we did that, when we were still an alter ego, I would have gone through my deck to find shopping spree, put that back out. So this is going to go back because that would have been completely different. Then flipped over, thwarted. And then drawn. One, two, three, four, five. Skull Investigator, which is good. Professor X, excellent. Chamber, Husk, and Plasmoid. Okay. Got a lot of options for next turn. So Threat goes on. He's going to attack. Uh, this time I think we're just going to take it. Uh, so it's two. Three, uh, this gets, because it is an illusion, it goes on the bottom of our deck. So down to six, and then take one from the apparition, and encounter card. Evil Doppelganger. Okay. Plus X scheme and plus X attack, where X is equal to the number of identity-specific cards in the engaged player's hand. Okay. Uh, that is one. So, how are we going to deal? we got to deal with the doppelganger and the apparition. Okay. Well, we have a lot of resources to play with. We also have to do a lot of thwarting. Okay. So. So unfortunately, X gene isn't going to do anything for us. We will definitely skilled investigator.
All right, so I think our best bet here is Professor X. The problem is, without someone to attack, we can't get rid of the doppelganger. Some difficult choices on this turn. The doppelganger is a real problem. We get shopping spree to go get our cell phone and draw a card off it to see what we get. We have no attack events, we have no thwart events, so our outfit isn't doing anything. feel this might be a weird play for Professor X because I don't think I've ever used him quite this way. So Okay. Let's Thwart shopping spree. Is our cell phone in here? No. It's in here. Okay, it comes in with three counters. stuff available to us here. Oh, we draw a card off of Skilled Investigator. So we get Firecracker. Oh, okay. So that was a good draw. Because now I think we can actually get some use. Okay. So, let's then, um, yes, that's exhausted. Then we'll play a 
We'll play a Professor X. We're going to choose... to confuse Mysterio. And we will thwart that. Then we will play Firecracker. So four damage to an enemy. Uh, if you paid for this card using two different energy source types, we did not. We only played it with energy. After you play an attack event, exhaust Jubilee Sunglass, choose an enemy, deal one damage to that enemy for each different resource type. We didn't play different resource types, so we do five to kill the doppelganger. And I think that's it. So that was an okay turnaround for us on that turn. So we're going to stay in hero mode so Professor X can tank the hit. And then next turn, flip down. I think. Yes. One, two, three. Okay, so one, two. Encounter card. So one... Two, three, four, five. Okay. Multi talented, disguise, again. Grand finale, X Mansion, and Firecracker. Okay. I like all of those. Okay. Throw goes on. He's going to attack. He's attacking for two. A lot, so. Good thing we got hit him around. We'll take a damage. First encounter card. Manipulated mind. Treat ally. Okay, there's no ally. So it surges. Sinister strike. Oh boy. Okay, so now we have a problem. So the last... One comes out. Oh, um, yeah, we took the damage from the apparition. So this is going to happen. Uh, villain is still going to attack, unfortunately. So now we get Nanny. When revealed, place one threat here for each different resource type in our hand. Okay. So Nanny's out. These go in. Oof. Okay. I mean, we had a good turn, but I think Mysterio ultimately had a better one. Uh, and we still have another encounter card to come out because that was Sinister Strike surged off of Manipulated Mind. Uh, Nanny is tough, which is also really bad for us. Okay, so how many different resources do we have in our hand? We have three different resources, so this is going to come in with five that we have to deal with. Okay. And Mysterio is going to attack, so we will have to defend. Attack a two. Uh, all right. So that's three. He gets an additional one and some illusions. So it's going to go to the bottom of our deck. So that's a grand total of uh, five. So 
So we take three, we're down to one. This goes on the bottom. And we still have another encounter card. Dark Designs. <laughs> Alright. One goes on his pursuit by the past, and he's going to scheme. He schemes for two, three, and this goes on the bottom. I think we're in a lot of trouble. Like a lot, a lot. Okay. So. be a miracle, I think, if we live through this turn. Okay. Um, so. We were going to flip down this turn. Guys doesn't do anything. So here's our options. So as a hero action attack thwart. So we can leverage our ability to attack thwart off of multi-talented. We can grand finale. Two damage to an enemy for each a di for a different resource type. You need to pay for this card. Choose an enemy and deal two damage to it. So that would be a way to rid ourselves of Nanny. But I don't know if we have the resources to do it. We've got two resources to be able to play out one of them. I'm not getting rid of naughty children. So, is it multi-talented that I need to play? Because I can play all three? That doesn't remove Nanny. Oh. Okay, Firecracker only costs two. So that's available. Well, oh, I think I can. I can play both multi-talented and I can play... Firecracker. Okay. So. Which is first? First is going to be multi-talented. So. Generating a strength. Uh, making that energy and genius. Okay, 
So we're going to do two, two damage to an enemy, which gets rid of the tough. We're going to, because that was an attack event, it's going to do three damage to the shifting apparition, uh, which means this gets shuffled into our deck, unfortunately. We have a lot of those coming up. But I got rid of the apparition. Okay. Move two threat from a scheme, so we're going to get two off of this. And exhaust Jubilee's coat to get another one off. Then we luckily just have enough to X Gene and spend Disguise to play Firecracker, which does four damage to an enemy. I used two different resource types. It's not going to stun Nanny, it just takes Nanny out because she really had to go. Okay. So. We sort of stabilized. We're going to flip down because we are in a lot of trouble. Okay. I'm shocked that we survived that turn. But I think, don't think things are going to get much better. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So here's where the chickens come home to roost. There are three extra encounter cards. Which is not great. Okay. So, yeah. One threat goes on, so Maze of Mirrors is really close to being completed. We haven't even laid a finger on Mysterio yet. Um, he's confused, thankfully. So, first of four. Exhaustion. Surge. Lost Child. Tree Attached. Regressed Minion. Surge. Induced Panic. You cannot resolve triggered abilities in your hero's printed text box. Okay. That, that doesn't really affect us. Huh. Okay. Anyway, next one. Shifting Apparition, which is a pain. Another Shifting Apparition, which is also a pain. And the last one, Lost Child Surge, Deepest Fears, Peril. Okay. When revealed, discard the, the discard cards in the top of your deck equal to the number of cards in your hand, which is six. If at least one identity specific card is discarded this way, place one threat in the main scheme. If no identity specific card is discarded this way, take one damage. <laughs> Either way, it's real bad. So. We can only discard three. Okay. Uh, all right. So one threat's going to go on the main scheme because, well, it's only going to be two, and they're both mine. And then this one is going to go as face down, and we're still in that phase. This is going to complete. Uh, shove the top two cards of the encounter deck into the player's deck. Okay. We ran out of cards. This is going to get shuffled in. Starts on three. Mm. 
Yeah, we're on the edge of reality. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay. Uh, and the last one, Masterful Mirage. When you deal any mad damage, discard top four cards of your deck instead. Discard this card. Okay, so now he's got a Blade of Armor. But he's got plus one scheme, which is not good. Oh, all right. Well, we're not doing any damage to him because there's two guards out here. And we are currently under induced panic. So somehow we actually survived that turn. Problem is now we can't heal. We can't use Disguise because we are exhausted. We can flip over to Multitask, play out Cypher, just to protect us. Okay, we can also, or we also have Moira. Okay. So, Moira's important because we can draw a card off of her. We can draw a card off of Naughty Children and see where we go from there. So, And play with Moira. We'll flip over. Uh, we'll exhaust Moira, draw a card. Grand finale. Okay, that's just damage. Okay. We will multitask. Using flash of light. So that's gone. And that's gone. We can use the coat to get rid of that. We exhaust this to draw a card. I think it's too little too late because now we can't stop him from hitting us. Yeah, so we have to play out Cypher. Cypher has to take out one of the apparitions. But that's still not going to be enough because I'm stuck on one. Oh, I didn't ready though. Off of Moira. Oh, no, I don't. Uh, no, no, no. Exhaust, draw a card. Yeah, it's not get ready. It's not like other cards of this type. Yeah. Yeah, so there's not much I can do here because he's basically just going to uh, take out Cypher and then the Apparition hits us for one and then we're done. Wow. That was, uh, that was really tough considering how much stuff that we had out. We had so many of our supports and upgrades. We just got completely overwhelmed. Huh.
All right, we'll have to rethink this. Um, Jubilee's okay as a hero. I, you know, I will say that I wasn't particularly enthused to be playing her. Um, she's not exactly one of my favorite X-Men characters. I mean, she was sort of a very much a '90s character, which is not my favorite era of X-Men. But in a couple of months, we'll be looking at the. Uh, well, we have Nightcrawler, who is one of my favorites from back in the day, and then Magneto. But they're still a ways off because this year has been really um we've been drip fed content and i know why because of star wars unlimited I'm not going to complain i love star wars unlimited but it's been a real um uh, not having too much new uh material out there in our heroes this year uh it's drawn out the sort of x era now for what three years running and uh yeah it's getting a bit uh, I'd like to move on to non x characters anyway so, unfortunately, it didn't work out for us. The cards were literally not in our favor. And uh, Jubilee Falls to Mysterio. All right. Uh, so, thanks for watching. And until next time, happy gaming. Thank you so much for watching Longship Gaming. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It will really help the channel to grow and improve. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when more Longship Gaming content goes live. Until next time, happy gaming.